Welcome to Trust Arena in Waitakere for the round six match between the Mystics and the Magic. And surprise, surprise, it was the Mystics who won tonight 54-44, breaking their losing streak of seven. And uh, what was it that was different about the Mystics today? Uh, well, defence and attack. <laughs> Defence-wise, um, unit work was awesome. They really slowed down the Magic attack and just got some great ball. In attacking, it would have to be Grace Wiki. There was some great confidence. And Taylor Earl, those young guns coming on and just showing some confidence that hasn't been there in the Mystics. And MVP for the Mystics, for the game, in fact, was Phoenix Kataka. We've loved her all season. We're just wrapped that not only did she have a great game, but she got the win. Yeah, it was so great to watch. The intensity from her was magnificent. She was getting so much hand to ball, inspiring for her team around her. And again, the unit work led by her was just great to watch. Yeah, Makaidi as well. She had a good game against the Magic last time these two teams met. Again, she timed those jumps beautifully when the Magic shooters were putting the ball up. We're in the middle for the Magic. She's a fighter. She never gives up. It's the Nagati Sam Sinclair. And she's certainly tried her best out there. She does. And she's a player that will always give it her all. And she's come a long way as an attacker. She's feeding ball and doing a lot of work. So she was a rock for them in the centre there but probably couldn't do enough tonight to get the win home. Yeah, well, she did come off for a brief time there. Anayana Cable Dixon came on in that centre position before switching back to Sam Sinclair. But another player we were all so happy to see have a big game, Bailey Ness. She shot well, she moved well, and she linked beautifully with Wiki. And what we've been waiting from her, she's a senior player in that Mystics team now, so to see her step up and provide that is what they need to build on. She should take a lot of confidence from that and pride and hopefully take it on to the next game and beyond. I think that's the thing that's always been frustrating with me, isn't it? She, when she plays well, she plays so very, very well and she connected beautifully. We saw Tuiava in that shot. She had her radar on, as did Taylor Earl when she took the court at centre. So, there we go. The stats, what do you make of them? Well, the attempts for the Mystics, it's great to see their attempts are more this, in this game. It was particularly the standout for me, and obviously the gold percentages was more for them. Still kind of low on, on the low side, but to be honest, we kind of expected that from this game. It was a very low-scoring game the last time they met a couple of weeks ago. So improvement from both of them. So many deflections from the Magic. It just showed they weren't quite scoring off them. The Magic, they stuck with their two shooters. Kelsey McPhee was good. Fade a little in that last, but their percentages weren't too bad. But for me, Grace Wiki, look at that. And Bailey Mess took a good number of shots. Jamie Hume, well, she'll forget that one. It wasn't her best day under the post. But regardless, it was a win for the Mystics. Is it too early to say this is a turning point? Because it was just the first of seven. Yeah, probably. You don't want to get too ahead of yourself. But again, you want to ride on that confidence. As Phoenix Karakar said at one point, they've got a taste for the win, so they need to build on that and want more. Absolutely. Well, it's only a few days, in fact, until they'll be back on court. But that's all we've got time for here at Trust Arena. It was the Mystics over the Magic, 54-44.